Hello, I'm Kayser, and welcome to Moose Reads. Before I get started, I want to say that the opinions that I give here are my own opinions. They are extremely subjective. If I dislike a book, it is not a reflection on the author, and it is not a reflection on people who do like it. Different people have different tastes, and that's okay. Today, I will be reviewing Prince in Disguise by Tavia Lark. This is the second book in the Perilous Court series. It is a queer fantasy romance. The description says, Sheltered, sickly Prince Bellamy dreams of adventure, but not like this. Captured in enemy territory, his royal identity will get him killed. When his dangerously attractive fellow prisoner asks who he is, Bellamy claims to be a minstrel. Except he can't carry a tune to save his life. He panicked, okay? Rakos was a dragon rider until betrayal landed him in chains. Now he knows two things for certain. He can't trust anyone, and he wants his dragon back. When the fragile minstrel asks who he is, Rakos claims he's a farmer. When Bellamy begs for help reaching the border, Rakos refuses. Until he can't resist how much Bellamy needs him. Stormy nights and deadly masquerades forge Rakos and Bellamy's unlikely partnership into something more, something exhilarating. Rakos treats Bellamy like a person, not a weak, untouchable prince, even as he protects him. But Rakos's enemies are circling in, and that very protection might be Bellamy's undoing. Four stars. Like the first book, this one isn't anything spectacular. It's just a good time. I liked reading it, and I'd happily read it again in the future. This one is significantly more insta-lovey than the first one, in that Rakos has no reason to continue traveling with Bellamy beyond the point he initially promises to, but he just can't help it because he's caught feelings. But if you can overlook that, which I could, it's still fun. This one is also a lot less predictable. The background politics that cause Rakos's troubles are less obvious, the stops along the way are mostly unexpected, and I, at least, didn't know how things were going to turn out. You know, aside from happily ever after. I also like that this book is less standalone than the romances I'm used to. While this book focuses on Bellamy and Rakos, we do touch base with Whisper and Julian a couple times throughout. We get a little bit more of Audric, who will feature in book three, and we get introduced to Vanna, who will be in book four. I get the impression that reading this series out of order would be a little complicated. The closest I can come to a complaint about this book is that Bellamy probably should have seen through Rakos's bullshit a lot sooner, owing to certain facets of his magic. But that's reaching pretty hard, as it didn't actually bother me much at all. There's nothing more to really say about this one. Not even spoilers. The book is fun, it's easy to read, I had a good time. Again, if the description sounds at all interesting to you, or more accurately, if you read Prince and Assassin and enjoyed it, give this one a go. That's all I have to say about Prince in Disguise. If you like this video, I hope you'll watch more in the future. Thanks for watching this one. Bye!